Coming up on Fashion Style TV, Gregory and I are breaking down some of the hottest trends this season. We're going to be talking about the bucket hat and the Hawaiian print. Hey, it's editors Gregory and Ashley, and we're here today to talk about some trends with you, and Ashley has one that she's dying to tell you about right now. Well, what I've been seeing all over the place is Hawaiian prints, from bold tropical florals to palm print. Everyone seems to be on a Hawaiian vacation these days, both men's wear and women's wear. You've been seeing this trend a lot. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, Elvis rocked it back in the day, and then, you know, tourists made it iconic in the 90s, and uh, it's cool. I mean, now celebrities are wearing it. It's on the runway. It's everywhere. It's definitely modernized. I mean, Jared Leto famously wore a black and white floral shirt underneath a black suit at the MTV Movie Awards. And I love that he took this kind of campy, playful shirt and made it really sleek. Um, but I didn't like the way that Malcolm Moore wore it when he was on stage at Bonnaroo. I mean, he just wore a classic Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. And to me, that just screamed Ace Ventura Pet Detective. So it's a really it tricky is. trend to pull it off. It's a very tricky trend. I think that you are able to wear the classic Hawaiian shirt if you just dress it up the right way. Like, throw on a leather jacket, some mm -hmm. fitted dark jeans. You could totally rock it. But put it on with, like, beige shorts and high socks. And, and you're going to get some yeah. looks. Yeah. Yeah. So let's check out the celebrities and the runways that rock this trend the best. Everyone is saying aloha to the Hawaiian print trend these days. Just like Jared Leto and Malcolm Moore, Beyonce copied a similar style at Coachella, taking the stage in a multicolored Topshop two-piece. Proving that the trend isn't just reserved for a music festival, Bella Thorne and Lily Collins both showed up in palm-printed Fausto Puglisi resort collection pieces at the Teen Choice Awards this year. The spring 2014 runways were also dominated by this trend. Dries Van Noten, Prada, and Michael Kors all showed this tropical trend. Ladies, check out this jumpsuit from Topshop for $130. For the guys, rock this island floral tee by BDG for just $24 on urbanoutfitters.com. So besides Hawaiian print, Gregory, what have you seen out and about? So there's a trend that I recently noticed that I was totally repulsed by when I first saw and I'm actually into it now. What um, is it? The bucket hat. Oh. It, it was first worn by soldiers back in the war and then Gilligan's Island made it iconic and one of my favorite comedies, I'm still watching it. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. I mean, Rihanna wore it on the cover of Louis magazine with nothing else and that was pretty dope. And then you had Justin Bieber who just also wore it. I don't know. I mean, I like that it's a cool kind of 80s, you know, hip hop throwback. You know, LL Cool J was constantly in his Kangol floppy hat. Um, but I don't know, Justin Bieber just looked like an idiot yeah, at Coachella. It was, it was a little bit awkward. The hat was definitely too large for his head, and I think it's so important when you wear a bucket hat to have it appropriately sized. I mean, it's so silly, but look to Gilligan as a reference because he just, like, he rocked it. He did. Uh, if he only had another colored shirt, it would have been amazing. But, yeah, his, Justin Bieber it was way too big for his head. It just kind of fell over it. Um, so, yeah, you have to find one that just works well. Well, besides Gilligan, let's check out the celebrities and the runways that rocked this trend. Aside from Rihanna and Justin Bieber, who were spotted in the bucket hat, Miley Cyrus just tweeted out a photo wearing a new Chanel flannel up bucket hat that I actually quite love. In terms of the runway, Wood Wood Spring 2014 collection, Rag and Bone, and Shades of Grey all turned out male models wearing the hat. In terms of women's wear, designers like Kenzo, The Row, and D Squared all had women wearing interesting versions of the bucket hat. If you're into the look and want to shop it, go to farfetch.com for APC $110 bucket hat or a floral bucket hat by River Island for $30 at revolveclothing.com. Yeah, that's it. That's all we got for you today. So check back with us each week on Fashion Style TV and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay on top of all the hottest trends in fashion news.